them to Charlton and more visitors who needed to keep fighting. Morecambe offered more than spirit at the Valley, some real quality in the build-up that led to Cole Stockton's fourth goal in as many games. The striker had gone close before he scored and his 23rd league strike of the season didn't flatter the Shrimps, who kicked off outside the drop zone on goal difference alone. They largely dominated a Charlton side who'd won four of their last six and an impressive first-half display was capped late on by Arthur Ganua the host paying the price for failing to clear their lines. Charlton's habit of winning and losing in streaks since Johnny Jackson took charge looks set for a downward curve, but they found a way back into the game early in the second half. Corey Blackett-Taylor's run and cross steered goalwards by Mason Burstow and over the line by leading scorer Jaden Stockley. Four in five for him. But the Addicts weren't back in it for long. Keeper Craig McGillivray's wayward throw soon found itself at the feet of Ganua and the Frenchman's emphatic fifth of the season surely wrapped up a precious win for Derek Adams' side. But Charlton chased the lost cause and Blackett-Taylor's display continued to give them hope. He picked out Chuck Sanike to mark his first appearance in two months with a goal. And there was still time left for the host to snatch a point they barely deserved against the joint worst defence in English football, who'd now conceded 84 goals. But George Dobson's neat turn in the box wasn't matched by a composed finish and Morecambe held on for their first away league win since November. The timing couldn't have been better. Nations on with that point, as Ali said, bigger pitcher. Fleetwood replaced them. Morecambe are now three points clear of the drop after a third win in four. Doncaster and FC Wimbledon both slipped the defeat as their survival hopes took another damaging blow. None of the top three played today. Argyle stay fourth, but lost at Wickham. The chair boys jumping into the playoff places as a result with Sheffield Wednesday dropping out. Oxford United's win gives them an outside chance of a top six finish after the break. With